Good morning. The groundhog did not see a shadow, which means an early spring, which also means nothing. Yesterday was also a unique day. It was 0 2 2020 And millions of people watched the Super Bowl. And the halftime show. And Super Bowl. And commercials. On Wednesday, portions of the U.S.-Mexico wall partially fell along the California border as the barriers crumpled under the stiff inland winds. The steel barriers that separate El Centro east of San Diego and the Baja California city of Mexicali fell toward the Mexican side. The 30-foot panels buckled under gust winds of 40 miles per hour and damaged panels had been replaced Thursday. The WeatherTech CEO, David McNeil, paid $6 million for a Super Bowl and thanking the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine for saving his dog. McNeil's seven-year-old golden retriever, Scout, had collapsed in the summer of 2019, and a veterinarian told him the dog had cancer and one month to live. The dog had a 1% chance of survival, but doctors at the school treated Scout with aggressive chemotherapy and radiation that nearly eradicated his tumor. The Super Bowl ad tells the story of Scout survival and encourages viewers to donate to the school's research. This year, 117 new emojis are going to drop into Apple's new update. Android and Apple users can install the update through settings. Some of the new emojis include the boba tea emoji, an ear with a hearing aid, a, pin a pinching hand, mechanical body parts, a man in a wheelchair, Garlic and a flamingo. These new emojis are modernized and expected to be a big hit among many users. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. On Friday, February 7th, 33 of our CTE students will be competing in the regional competition at SUNY Morrisville all day. To support these students, SkillsUSA will hold a fundraiser at Panera in Fayetteville from 4 to 8 p.m. today. If you dine or order from Panera that afternoon, please show a picture of the flyer or enter the code when ordering online, and ESM Skills USA will receive 20% of your order. So, uh, like I said earlier, we're talking about the Super Bowl. That's right. And so for the first half of the game, the 49ers were the first to score with a 38-yard field goal. Chiefs responded with a 75-yard drive, ending in a one-yard touchdown rush by Patrick Mahomes. Uh, the 49ers defense played like everyone expected in the second quarter, holding the Chiefs only to a field goal. The 49ers then tied the game with a touchdown pass to fullback Kyle Juszczyk, making the score 10-10. to The score stayed that way until <coughs> halftime. The Niners received the ball and drove down the field, but settled for a 42-yard field goal by Robbie Gold. And then Patrick Mahomes threw his first interception of his postseason to linebacker Fred Warner. This pick led to a one-yard touchdown run by Raheem Mostert. The fourth quarter begins, and Mahomes threw another interception off a drop pass by Tyreek Hill. And then Tyreek Hill redeemed himself with an insane third and 15 uh, play, keeping the Chiefs in the game. And with that set up, the Chiefs score a one-yard touchdown caught by tight end Travis Kelsey to bring the game within a field goal to go to overtime. And the Chiefs make the stop on the, ne on the Niners' next drive, forcing a three and out. And Patty Mahomes passes to running back Damian Williams for a touchdown to take the lead 24-20. to And on fourth down, Jimmy Garoppolo got sacked. And then Damian Williams runs into the end zone on a 38-yard run, icing the game. Anyways, let's go to weather. there will be a few morning showers and a high of 42. There will be a low of 34. Tuesday will have a chance of a 30% chance of rain with a few flurries throughout the day with a high of 41 and a low of 26. Wednesday will have some morning snow with a high of 33 and a low of 25. Thursday the snow will turn into rain for the majority of the day with a high of 37. This rain will continue into Friday. I'm Amber with your weather. All right, 
Now it's time to talk about the thing that everyone really cares about. Halftime show? And commercials. Of course. So, some of the commercials we're going to talk about. Move. Mr. Peanut, Smart Pack, Doritos, Jimmy Fallon, Google Home, Reese's, and the next 100 commercial. This is the Mr. Peanut one. Rip. It was very sad. This oh, is smart. a Smart Pack. You got to say it, Smart Pack. Smart Pack. There you go. <laughs> you got to say it. Look, it's John Krasinski. Accent. Yeah, what a man. What a man. What a man. Hey, Captain America. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't get to see Mr. Oh, Peanut. Oh, Little Nas X. Showdown. That was a good one. There was this Wild West Showdown. Dance Off. They're doing it for the Doritos. Doritos. Cool Probably. Ranch. Probably could have picked a better flavor. John Turner a little bit. Oh, all right. This is the John Cena, Jimmy Fallon one. This one looks good. Jimmy Fallon looks like me. Working out next to me. Uh, that true. Mm. That's pretty true. Oh, this one was so sad. This one was sad. It was about um, an the older, old, grandpa. older grandpa, and he was talking to Google, like telling Google Loretta. to remember him, rem help him remember things about Loretta. Yeah, it was, Loretta it was, was very sad. I might have shed a tear. I think he did. I definitely did. <laughs> the Reese's Oh, this one? one was funny. Reese's. It was like, how do you not know about Reese's? And like, do you live on a rock? Were you born yesterday? Raised by... It was all this stuff. It was really funny. I gotta say, I did not see this one, but... You didn't see it's, it? I didn't see it, but... It was funny. He's funny. an alien. And, oh, here it is. <laughs> Yay, it was Shakira. With her little tongue thing. That was awesome. Yeah, the tongue great. flick. That was great. Amazing. All Let's right. go to sports. Let's go to sports. The girls bowling team defeated Central Square on Friday, and the boys bowling team lost on their senior night to Central Square. Sectionals will be this Sunday for the boys. The girls volleyball team ended their season with a win against Camden on Saturday. Skylar Mahoney led the way with 11 kills and one block, while Olivia Fortuno had four kills, two aces, and two blocks. Megan Bowles also had five aces, three assists, and four kills. Great end to your season, ladies. We wish the seniors all the best of luck in their future. Girls basketball team lost on Friday night against Oswego 33 to 24. And the boys basketball team improved to 14 and 2 with a 62 to 42 win at Oswego. Devin Moscato Buffalo led the team with 21 points, followed up by Jimmy Ferns who scored 14 and Joe Kopp who scored 11. I'm David with your sports. So after a 50-year drought, the Chiefs win the Super Bowl 31-20. to It would have been ironic if it was a 49-year drought because they beat the 49ers. Um, but also, they came back from a 10-point deficit in the third quarter. The Super Bowl MVP was Patrick Mahomes, who passed for 286 yards, two touchdowns, rushed for uh, 28 yards, and rushed for one touchdown. And Andy Reid will now be able to eat all the burgers he wants at the White House while celebrating. And my prediction was right again. Very funny, Luke, but my prediction was also right this time. And there's only 220 days until football again. Yeah, he did the math on that. I did. Anyways, have a great day, Spartans. This was a good commercial, too. Oh, this is the 100 commercial. I like that one. That was a good one. Hey. That was a good commercial.